presidents of this company to join together Christopher Shell and Elisa Cotello in matching. I met Elisa online. We met on Tinder, and uh, it was actually my cat's fault because while I had been swiping for a few days and Chris's profile kept coming up and he looked really nice, but his profile was mostly empty. It just, the only thing it said was Esta Bien, which is that It's Okay song by Pearl Jam, but in Spanish. So I was like, is this guy Spanish speaking? What's going on? So I'd close Tinder and then I'd open it and there he was. My buddy Ben had been egging me on to get online and, you know, go on a couple dates, meet meet people in the area. So I've been trying it for a couple months unsuccessfully and I you know wasn't wasn't all impressed. So finally I was gonna swipe yes and my cat walked behind me and tripped me and I super liked him on accident. It was either St. Patty's Day or the day before St. Patty's Day. I'm pretty sure it was St. Patty's Day. And I, I'm going out, not too enthused about it, and as I'm walking into the bar, I get this message on Tinder that says, I am so sorry, I did not mean to super like you. And that's all I saw of the message, and I was just like, I hate this app. Uh, turns out he was on a date. Walked into the bar and, you know, and met this person and right off the bat like you know it was just it wasn't fun i didn't like them at all and it was just really awkward being there but i had already driven there so i was like oh, i may as well stay i don't know anybody in this completely packed bar we, <laughs> we started talking while he was on the date i guess it was a really horrible date i text her back and i'm like hey how's it going you know this is gonna sound weird but i'm kind of on a date right now i figured a funny story would you know be something to laugh about. I, uh, I asked her if she wanted to get coffee the next day, like somewhere around the afternoon. We met the next day at Cornerstone to have coffee. The first thing I remember her saying, I was like, Elisa? And she's like, oh my god, you're tall. And just looked up at me. That's the first thing out of her mouth. I was like, okay. <laughs> we got her coffee, started talking. The conversation was just very natural. I didn't even realize how much time had passed. And then it was almost six. I was supposed to meet my friends in uh, Carlisle for dinner. So he said, you know, I'm having dinner with some friends later um, in Carlisle, so why don't you come and we, you know, we can have dinner. She like pulls this move of like looking at her phone and I'm like, I just read her body language like she doesn't have anything planned. Like <laughs> what, is, what is she gonna say? So she looks at her phone and then looks up and is like, yeah, I'll, I'll come to dinner with you. I was like, whoa, okay, all right, cool. Like she's a fun loving, free spirit. Like she's just gonna go out on a whim. So we uh, headed to Carlisle. So we get on the highway and we're going down the highway uh, and this is our first date, and he's following me, because I know where the restaurant is, and a truck's tire comes off and starts bouncing from side to side, and I just start signaling, trying to avoid the tire and let him know to avoid it too, because he couldn't see it. And the tire goes flying past us, and I was like, wow, like she handled that so well. That's incredible driving skills. That's, she's calm under pressure. This is an insane. And the whole time I'm thinking, oh my God, we're gonna die on our first date. So I like passed her and I just gave her the thumbs up. I was like, hey, you know, good job with that. So yeah, we had dinner and then we had coffee and you know, that was that. <laughs> she just kept talking to me and I kept talking to her and the conversation just, flowed naturally and it's been flowing for three almost four years now so that's I don't think I've spent a day without talking to her since since we matched in St. Patty's Day so I guess I got lucky. <laughs> I Christopher take you Elisa to be my wife to have and to hold from this day forward, from this day forward. Better or for, worse. for better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. As long as we both may live. As long as we both may live. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow.
I, Elise, I'll take you, Christopher. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. As long as we both may live. As long as we both may live. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. By virtue of the authority entrusted in me by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, I pronounce you as my gentle, and now you may kiss my <laughs> And we just want to say that it means the world to us that you guys all came here. Like, um, it's amazing that you could all be like, it's COVID and we can't get together and we got together. This yeah. is amazing. That's this crazy. is so amazing. Good to see all of you guys. <laughs> Thank you for coming, you guys. We love Thank you guys. So We're, We're, We're married. Tied. We're fine. Congratulations. <laughs> My favorite thing is she is hilarious. She has such a good sense of humor and she keeps me laughing. I love her laugh. I mean, we are able to just communicate in a way of like stupid inside jokes all the time, which is perfect because, you know, I'm not a serious person, not all the time. So it's nice that we can just have little jokes that we play. He has like embraced my culture and, and traveled with me to Uruguay and really listens to the music, eats the food, you know, it's really great. I remember one time I, I texted him, I was at work and I found these flights to Barcelona that were super cheap, like dirt cheap. And I was like, do you want to go to Barcelona for the weekend? And he just replied, for the weekend? Question mark. And I said yes, and he says, okay. And I don't know who else would have been like, sure, let's go spend the weekend in Barcelona. So <laughs> he's just fun. For the future, I hope that we can just keep doing what we're doing, that we can have tons of adventures, that we can continue to travel together, just spend as much time together as we can, you know, because I think time's gonna fly by.